Hello everyone and welcome! We have talked about many different warriors from many different places, but we haven't had the chance to talk about the warriors of Noxus yet. So why don't we start with one of the greatest Noxian soldiers to ever walk on Rune Terra. Many years ago, during the age of Jarvan I, Noxus was ruled by Borem Darkwill a powerful warlock known for his knowledge of dark magics. Noxus didn't have the biggest army at the time, but their warriors fought with the strength of many. One day, the Masia marched before the gates of Noxus and was ready to siege the city. Even though the Noxians were heavily outnumbered, they were not afraid. The walls of Noxus were prepared to hold against thousands. But where was the glory in that? Everyone advised Darkwill to barricade all entrances. Everyone but Sion. He demanded that they would march out and face them as the true sons of Noxus they were. And to that Darkwill agreed. With Sion in the lead of the entire army, they opened the gates and marched out. Jarvan's royal guardsmen believed that they could hold Sion's charge. They were wrong. He cut them down one by one until only he and the king remained. At this level of exhaustion, any other man would just give up. But for Sion, this entire war led to this moment. He battled Jarvan beyond the point of breaking, after which he was finally defeated. But with his dying breath he was able to lock his fingers around the king's throat and with the final beat of his heart he crushed it. Die! That day both Sion and Jarvan I died. Even though this was a victorious day for Noxus, Borem Darkwill lost one of the greatest warriors he ever had. Because they had to strike back fast before the Masia finds a new leader, Darkwill decided to ask the Black Rose for help in an attempt to resurrect Sion. The Black Rose is an ancient organization of Noxus. Among its members are powerful mages such as Leblanc, Vladimir, Elise or previously Swain. The next dialogue comes after the blood ritual was complete. What did you do? Provided you with what you desired, nothing more. This is not what I desired. You sought to raise this corpse to your bidding once again. In that we succeeded. Look at him. This thing has no place at the head of an army. Not as a leader, no. But your friend was never so much a leader as a killer. And he has never been more perfectly suited to that role than he is now. He does not fear, he does not question, he does not die. Damn you, I have no other choice. Sion was an effective weapon on the battlefield. He was able to take down entire fortress on his own. However, Darkwill wasn't able to fully control him and so Sion was killing both Noxian and the Masian soldiers alike. Soon most Noxian soldiers refused to go to war just because they risked fighting alongside with Sion. Because of that they were forced to lock Sion inside his memorial to prevent more damage. Generations passed and Noxus had changed. Borem Darkwill was assassinated and Noxus was in need of a new leader. His son Kairan Darkwill and General Jericho Swain were contesting the leadership of Noxus. But after a long duel, Swain emerged victorious and he became the Grand General of Noxus. Because he had to secure his position, he needed a strong plan how to fight against the Masia. While going through old Darkwill's books, he found an article talking about a locked, uncontrollable weapon deep beneath Noxus. He also read that there was a missing component that he needed in order to fully control it. But Swain knew that the component was the blood of his killer. 
Jarvan I was dead for years, but his blood was still fresh within Jarvan IV. We still don't know how Swain acquired his blood, but it is possible that he got it from Urgot back before he was split in half by Garen. Either way, the ritual was complete and Sion was free once more. Sion's will is now bound to Swain alone, and with Jarvan's blood he is even more powerful than before. To fully test his might, they released him near one of the Demacian cities. Needless to say, only ruins now remain. And that is the story of Sion, one of the greatest warriors to ever live on Runeterra. Swain is planning on using him against Demacia itself, so I wonder if Jarvan has a plan on how to defeat such a beast. Because Noxus was previously the immortal bastion ruled by Mordekaiser, it is possible that Sion was partially resurrected with the dark powers Mordekaiser left there. I wonder if Sion will have some special interactions with the Shadow Isles in the future. But that only time will tell. For now, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to rate the video or leave the feedback below in the comment section. Follow me on all the social media for more channel updates and now newly, you can also follow me on Twitch for occasional streams. If you'd like to see the lore of your favorite champion, please tell me by all means. I really appreciate all of your support and I hope you know it. And as always, thank you come again. So I guess it's time to shamelessly advertise my stream. If you want, I am kinda rarely streaming, but I announce it every now and then. I am streaming on twitch.tv slash 94 So far I streamed 4 times, I think, and it was absolutely amazing. I streamed... Overwatch once, I streamed Paladins and then I streamed twice League of Legends. Last time it was Earth, I don't know what's going to be next one, but I'm definitely actually going to stream uh, Overwatch on the 2nd of May, is it? The beta comes out? The open beta? I guess so, it should be. Well, anyway, see you in the next one then.